Let me make a history for you to explain something that is real. Imagine you are in 2009 and there's a dress costing 400 BTC, also bitcoins, and the price is okay to be a dress. You was thinking, shall I buy it or not? But you drop it buying it and you still have 400 bitcoins in your wallet. And now you're in 2016. Do you know how much the dress will cost now in bitcoins? It will cost around 0.6 bitcoins. Yeah, that's a big difference. It's going down with 399.4 bitcoins. The price is the same, but the value isn't the same anymore. It's a big difference. This means all your 400 bitcoins is a lot of money right now. How much money is 400 BTC, also bitcoins, in USD? Well, 1 BTC bitcoins is 401 USD right now. And you have 400 bitcoins because you was one of the first doing bitcoins. And back in 2009 it was easy to get bitcoins because you was one of the first. And back in 2009 it was easy to get 400 bitcoins. That was around 2 200 USD. But now it's around 154,000 USD. So all the 400 BTC bitcoins was 200 USD in 2009. But now it's 154,000 USD. You were so lucky because you didn't buy the dress. Because now you have a lot of money. Now you can buy so many dresses you want. But what is bitcoins? Well, this video will explain what bitcoins is. What is bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency. Bitcoins are digital coins you can send through the internet. Compared to other alternatives, bitcoins have a number of advantages. Bitcoins are transferred directly from person to person via the net, without going through a bank or clearinghouse. This means that the fees are much lower. You can use them in every country. Your account cannot be frozen. And there are no prerequisites or arbitrary limits. Let's look at how it works. Several currency exchanges exist where you can buy and sell bitcoins for dollars, euros, and more. Your bitcoins are kept in your digital wallet on your computer or mobile device. Sending bitcoins is as simple as sending an email. And you can purchase anything with bitcoin. The bitcoin network is secured by individuals called miners. Miners are rewarded newly generated bitcoins for verifying transactions. After transactions are verified, they are recorded in a transparent public ledger. Bitcoin opens up a whole new platform for innovation. The software is completely open source and anyone can review the code. Bitcoin is changing finance the same way the web changed publishing. When everyone has access to a global market, great ideas flourish. Bitcoins are a great way for businesses to minimize transaction fees. It doesn't cost anything to start accepting them and it's easy to set up. There are no chargebacks and you'll get additional business from the Bitcoin economy. For more information about Bitcoin, visit WeUseCoins.com. So bitcoins is like money, but it's not uh, real money, it's just like points. And you can buy something with it, and it's now a huge value, because people want to buy things People want to buy things without having the government to know what they buy or have control over their bank so they can see what they're paying for and how much they're paying. So people are using this to be anonymous and mostly and anonymously or how I would say it, I'm not sure how to say it. But yeah, that's why people use it. Um, some people use it on Silk Road to buy weed. Some people are using to buy normal things like cars, uh, PlayStation, and stuff like that. So there is a few way to get Bitcoins money. You can transfer from PayPal money to Bitcoins, or you can start your own mine. What I mean with uh, your own mine, um, you download that software on your computer, and you set it up, and then you click start. And then you just wait, like, it's always uh, just digging and digging after bitcoins. So you don't have to do anything, just let a computer stay on 24-7 and 
you will see the money is getting slowly and slowly in on your Bitcoin mine. But how to boost the Bitcoin mine is by make a huge um, PC rig, computer rig with a lot of um, CPU. So I will show you some picture of other people making their own computer. There's one computer using a lot of CPU and graphic cards. So how more graphics card you have, how more money you will mine faster. So there's a lot of people like with 160 um, graphic cards and then that makes around um, I'm not sure how much it makes but I saw a video he had a good setup and he makes 20 to 25 bitcoins and that is a lot of money so he's paying a huge electric electric bill that cost him around 80,000 USD so he pays that bill and he also have to make sure the computer is not too warm because it's overheating so easy so they are using um, so they are using a fan to make sure the graphic card doesn't overheat because if it's over overheat, uh, it can be destroyed. So there is a lot of people losing money because they start doing bitcoins with not good setup. Like um, people trying to be rich and they start with bad setup. You have to start with a huge setup and a good setup to start with costs around twenty thousand USD. And the reason why you should start with a good one is because if you start with a small one you're only getting electric bill and the ele electric bill uh, is so big because you have to let the computer stay on 24 7 and you doesn't make enough money with one computer you have to make a good setup when you have a good setup with maybe around 160 graphic cards then you can make enough money to pay the electric bill and make a lot of money to keep for your keep for yourself. So don't start with a bad setup. You have to start with something huge. That's why people don't make money off it. So they are only getting um, down. So they doesn't earn anything. They just losing money because they're using bad setup. So if you're gonna do Bitcoin mining, you have to start with a huge setup, so you can make sure to make money and pay the enough to pay the electric bill. So one of the guy I saw on YouTube, he made 25 BTC a day on just one computer rig, and he had like four or five of them. Anyway, so if it makes 25 BTC a day on just one of four or five he had. Um, that's a lot of money he make then. So 25 BTC is 9,661 USD, and he had four or five of them. So he makes around 48,000 USD a day. And if he makes that much in uh, a day, how much does he make in a month then? So he make 1.4 million. USD a month and his electric elect, electric bill is on 800,000 so he's make a lot of money and that's why they keep making the farm bigger and bigger you can search up on Google and YouTube um, if you search after Bitcoin uh, mining farm or Bitcoin mining rig you will find a lot of people doing that shit um, the reason why they doesn't show up on the word richest people, there's a list uh, of rich people, is because it's on bitcoins. The government can't see who is the rich, richest one. So that's why they doesn't show up on the richest list. But there's a lot more than people know. For like two. Three years ago, my b brother set up a uh, setup on my computer, um, Bitcoin 
set up on my computer and I don't have more than one graphic cards so it didn't make much money but I'm pretty sure if I try to find the file now uh, I'm pretty sure it will be like maybe 10 USD or something I'm not sure but I was mining for maybe two weeks or something so I don't know how much I made then it was three years ago but yeah there's a lot of people doing this and but a lot of them sell their bitcoins because sometimes bitcoins is going down so it's almost worth nothing that's because the government is doing something but then uh, the people make it again so then it go back after like four months then it go back and go upward like so much it's going up with like 200 more USD in value um, because in December 2015 the stock was very low and randomly it popped up and it was going so big again and then people start doing this again but the reason why they doesn't make money some of them is because they have too small setup you need a big setup because if you have a big setup you will make a lot of money enough to pay the electric bill and if you don't have a big setup um, you will be mining and um, the bill you paying is not worth it so it's better to not mine at all so if you're gonna start doing a real good I would recommend to use like um, maybe 10 15 thousand USD and because when you use that much on graphic cards I'm pretty sure you will make enough money to pay the bill and make some extra money for yourself so don't start without have uh, enough things to start it because it's just a waste of electric and the bill will be much more than you can earn so that's the reason why I don't do it anymore but I'm trying to save up money so I can start doing it because bitcoins I'm pretty sure will be the future soon because in Norway um, the oil is going down we we don't find much more oil anymore so I'm pretty sure the oil price is gonna go up and yeah the value on the Norwegian money will go down and maybe I'm not sure I'm not into that but I'm pretty sure it almost will die out so I'm pretty sure after like 10 years maybe Bitcoin is the new big thing Bitcoin is pretty new it was this it started uh, in 2007 but it's getting big in 2009 and in 2012 and 2003 the stock was going up so much and then it's going down and then it's going up again so I guess start doing this soon I hope I really want to but I don't have money enough so yeah but I hope you enjoyed the video and like the video I felt from like I felt for make a video today because Fuck you, that's why I want to make a video right now. So, yeah, like the video, comment what you think, and maybe I can reply to some um, comments about this one, about uh, Bitcoining. I'm not the best, but I'm working very hard to figure out much more about this one. I also forget to say that you can make the Bitcoins money to Aru, to USD, to anything. So you can make the Bitcoins money to PayPal, you can transform it to PayPal, then you can transform it back and forward. That's how people make the money. Make the Bitcoins and transform it, transform it to PayPal or Visa or something like that. And then you can buy things. So that's how it works. So yeah, more sites on internet uh, is starting to use it like Expendia. Um, maybe Amazon will use it, maybe does use it. But yeah, there's a lot of more um, store site that is starting to use bitcoins so soon maybe everything will be can be paid with uh, bitcoins instead of paypal so yeah i hope you liked the video and subscribe and comment if you need any more information i'm trying my best to figure out so if you have any questions just leave them down and yeah i hope you liked the video and have a good day and see you